Hello, I am Jack and today we're going to be talking about exam routine. Now I actually shot most of this video about three or four weeks ago, as you'll probably tell from the next shot where I've got really short hair. Well, I basically forgot about this video, so I was going to release it like a couple of weeks ago, but completely forgot about it. So this probably doesn't have much effect now, but this is what I've been getting up to this week and during the exams. Somewhere above The city lights You're falling in love <sighs> oh, my. Don't touch the camera <sighs> Hello, I'm Jack and welcome to my channel and today we're going to be talking about my exam routine Now you've just seen me wake up and that's pretty normal Everyone's going to wake up I'm still waking up at 6 o'clock That's the time I'd normally wake up for school but I'm waking up that early. Maybe if I don't have an exam in the morning, I might wake up at about seven or something a bit later, but still getting up early so that I can get a good start to the day and get some revision done. By the time you're watching this, I've already had about half of my exams and I've got 12 of them in total. And I had three of them before half term. So I've already done quite a few. And in this video, I'm basically gonna talk about what it is that I do when I've got my exams on and what I'm doing throughout the day. Now when you have an exam, you need to make sure you're obviously there on time, obviously. So if I'm in a morning exam, I need to be there about nine o'clock. So I leave here at about, what about now, which is seven o'clock. And if I don't have one in the morning, I'll probably leave a bit later so I can do some work while I'm at school before my exam. And I can have lunch and stuff while I'm there. Today is actually Wednesday and I've got two exams in the morning. They're a clash, so I've got to have them back to back. So I better be going actually. So I'll see you at school in a second. I come to school when I have an exam or if I have an important lesson where I need help from a teacher. At my college you don't actually have to go to school and actually most of the time I don't. During the exam season, it's hard to tell whether it's worth coming in for a lesson. If I have two lessons on one day, which I'm considering attending, I probably won't. Because the time it takes to go to school and come back, I could have done an extra paper in. At the moment, the best way to revise is by doing past papers. You should already know everything you need to know for the exam. And by doing past papers, it will show you where you need to go over different topics. I've just got home from school and tomorrow I actually have an exam. So I'm gonna do about 20 minutes of revision, 20, 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna do something I want to do. Probably something creative, might go on my skateboard. Just so I'm not doing anything which is gonna to be too much impact on my head or anything academic really. Then have dinner and then just relax for the evening because you don't wanna to do too much before the exam. So let's just do about 20 minutes of a paper. Finally, it's worth making sure that you're on track and make sure you know what you need to do and when you need to do it. Keep an idea in your head of roughly when you're going to be doing. Keep it rough, don't do exact timings because things pop up and you realise you need to do more papers than you've done or stuff like that. Think about what exams are coming up and make them the priority, but don't forget about the ones you have in a couple of weeks. Thank you very much for watching this video. That is the end and sorry it's been a bit meh. I've got a couple more weeks left of exams. They're quite spaced out actually, which isn't too bad. But then after that, we've got the summer holidays and a bit of work, but we'll hopefully be making lots of nice videos. But if you did like this video, make sure you like it and subscribe so you know when my next video will be out, which will be next Friday. So I'll see you then. Thank you very much for watching. Hello, I'm Jack. Bye. Final tip, revise on the go. E equals MC squared. That's not true. Well, the E is energy. That's not milk. That's not coffee. E equals MC squared. Energy equals the mass times the speed of light squared.